went to see a Sherlock Holmes play in Minneapolis last summer, and we were discussing an intermission, and, and uh, you said, oh, I can write a really good Sherlock Holmes play. Well, I said, prove it. We worked together first to work song, the play about Frank Lloyd Wright we did here that Jeffrey wrote with Eric Simonson. We did Tuesdays at Maury, and then Ella, and that's when we came up with the idea of Jekyll and Hyde. And then Ten Chimneys. And then here we are with Sherlock Holmes, and we're already plotting for what might come down the line. We have a lot of stage techniques that allow us to do lots of fun stuff with this one that I think will make it feel a lot different from other Sherlock Holmeses. In an odd way, there's a lot of technology to make it look very light on its feet. So that at no one point in the production, hopefully, will the audience say, my God, that's a lot of scenery. But we'll get from place to place with, with uh, uh, a lot of flavor and a lot of alacrity. It, it's designed brilliantly by John Azell. So yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, I must admit, my, my first thought was, a new play about Sherlock Holmes. So what is there left to tell? What is it we don't know already about this famous legendary figure who is so ubiquitous in our culture that many people assume that he was actually a real person. The address is an actual address in London, but of course we have to keep reminding ourselves that Sherlock Holmes was uh, an invention originally of uh, Arthur Conan Doyle and more recently our playwright Jeffrey Hatcher. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful story and it's quite challenging. It's a mystery. It moves very quickly across the stage. It is a series of scenes, of vignettes, in a dozen locations at least in fog shrouded London. So the main technical challenge in this show is to move the story from one location to the next. The environment is uh, both mysterious and also, I think, threatening to the principal characters in the play. At least that's our intention. conversation with the designer because of the use of multiple materials in building a piece of furniture you can't stain it in a traditional manner because you have plywood on the outside and then you have blue foam sandwiched in there so then it comes to the scenic artist to paint it and to make it look like it's stained wood the other challenge with this table is that not only is it intricate and um, and have a, multiple turnings in it, but it's an elevator as well. So that when it goes down, it has to be strong enough that people can walk on it as part of the deck. The other challenge with Sherlock is the magic tricks. There's actually three magic tricks that are written into the script. Two of the magic tricks, the playwright researched out and gave us information on how they're done. The other magic trick, I've actually, uh, a local magician and I have been working together to try to figure out how we can do this.